at everything the same way, really. I'm just here, really, just trying to get better and just trying to just work as hard as I can, really. Is it difficult to block out uh, expectations from you personally now? I mean, I really just try to, I try to block those out because when you think about all the expectations, it really just, it goes away from what you're trying to actually improve on. I just try to focus on what I need to get better on every single day, and that really, I think, is what's going to separate me from a lot of people. Talk about the confidence in the defensive locker room with so many guys coming back. Uh, you guys feel like you can get better from last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, confidence is the beginning of everything. Confidence is how a team becomes a great team, really. You have to show that you have confidence because it's going to help your teammates around you who are maybe feeling pressure or maybe feeling like they're like they're less than other people. But with that confidence, it really just gives a sense of just comfort and with the entire team, and it helps the team as a whole work better together. Yeah, this time of year, I mean, how eager are you guys to get out there and get on the field? <laughs> I mean, we have about an hour until our first practice. So, I mean, everyone's excited. And we're just ready to go, really. Yeah. Just in the new season, new year. Everyone's excited. And we talked about the expectations for you and for the program also. I mean, all these BCS ball games in a row. I mean, what's it like? Does it feel different going into this season? I mean, definitely it feels different. I mean, of course, we have a new head coach. So that's something different. We have a new facility, new practice fields. So it's just something new. But, I mean, we still have the same expectations. And we're still looking forward to the season, expecting to come to every game prepared and ready to get the W. Thank you. Thanks a lot. How you doing? I'm doing good. You guys got to see that facility. Yeah. You see it today. Uh, what's the coolest part? Like, if you call them, tell your parents, man, I walked in there today. What was the first thing you mentioned? First thing, I'm pretty sure. I called my mom and told her about the locker room. That was the first thing, for sure. I looked at the locker room. It's just, it doesn't look like a locker room at all. And then it's just so spacious and so comfortable. I mean, it's amazing. And then I have to say, when you walk into the first, the right in the front of the building, you look at the, the big screen TV that has 55, I mean 60, 55 inch TVs, flat screens that can combine to make one picture. So, I mean, it's just everything in there really is amazing. You can't really say there's one thing better than the other, but for sure, being a foot, being a, a player on the team, the locker room was something that really stood out to me. Is it much different? Because your other locker room was like this mythical thing as well, you know? Is it much yeah. different? I mean, the only, the real difference to me is really just the comfort. I mean, the locker room before was, with some big guys, it's really, it gets packed sometimes, but now we're able to just, everyone has a lot more room and we're able to just spread your body, just relax in there rather than just go change the locker room and leave it. Now we're able to just hang out in there like, I mean, most teams do. Who are your locker mates? Um, we have, it's, it goes down in a couple of rows. So, I mean, my the locker right next to me is O'Shea Dunmore. He's one of mine. DeAnthony's uh, locker mate. He's about two doors down. And Isaac Ob is another one. But, I mean, it's, I mean, I walk around, just walk up and down it, just talking to people. Yeah. yeah. Are you, are you a, a big talker on the team? I mean, if you're in the locker room, are you one of the guys that's kind of being vocal? I mean, to an extent, I'm not really that person that's trying to just be talking up a storm, really, and you start getting annoyed at them. I'm just that person that really, I'll just, I'm talk if I really feel like I need to, but other than that, I'm just, I'm gonna just lay low, really, just sit next to my locker, do what I have to do, talk to the people next to me, and then walk out. On uh, Friday, last Friday, Pac-12 Media Day, we were talking about the difference between Chip and Mark. Um, and one thing you said was you feel like you guys have more more leeway to be individuals. Um, in what way? What, what, what do you mean by that? Like, in what way are you guys have more? Really, with are that, you more individual? I mean, with with that, I mean really just trying to actually motivate your own your teammates and your uh, your peers rather than having the coach do all the motivating, all the teaching. Coach Hubbard gave us with our he gave us the opportunity to really just help players out that are younger than us and show that we've learned a lot from him rather than not really giving us the opportunity to you know what I, i'm kind of giving us the opportunity to show what we learned yeah so you have you taken that opportunity now I guess yeah, in what way is that manifest itself I mean, with you definitely i mean i feel like i've been able to help out a lot of younger guys and just Trying to just be a better leader, really. That's just it goes down to just how how you present yourself, how you come focused to prepare, how you your 
body language, just everything really. Just coming down to just having a chance to just teach, teach others, show them a little bit what you know, rather than hearing the side from the coach all the time. Sometimes the players want to hear from other other teammates. Yeah. Jake Fisher mentioned to me, he mentioned that he feels like it's more a family environment and it used to be more kind of business-like. Yeah, definitely. I would say that I feel like as a whole team, I feel like the camaraderie of our team has really just improved in the last couple of months really with not even with just activities that we do as a team, just just the environment. I feel like everyone knows each other. Sometimes when you're in the locker room and you, you might know somebody's name, but you never have talked to them before. But I feel like we don't have anything like that. And it's just, I mean, it's, I feel like it's a little bit different. I mean, it's definitely still business, but it is, you can see a sense of more like Jake said, more family type. Is that, that sort of the interacting with knowing everybody on the team, is that something that Mark has stressed? Yeah, de for sure, especially with our lockers, all the lockers um, look out towards your teammates, so you can't really just hide in your locker and just cover yourself up. Everyone's, you're gonna have to look out at somebody next to you, so it's just tries to just build the player just development, talking, helping out, trying to talk to our other teammates and just try to build a relationship with everybody. So in that time, is there, is there someone who you didn't really know before that now you do know that you're like, man, this dude's really cool? I mean, not really. For, for me, I feel like I've always tried to, I've always gave the effort to try to talk to everyone on the team, just learn something about them that's just, so that most people don't know. Just, I mean, knowing your teammates is always something that you're gonna need to cherish, especially being in college. Some of these guys are probably gonna be your best friends for your entire life, so it's just something that you have to remember. Just, I mean, that's really it. Yeah, cool. Ifo, thank you, Megacy. Thank you. Again,